With this vote today, we take an important step toward replacing the flawed formula, while at the same time protecting Americans by delaying the individual mandate of Obamacare by five years, while the current administration continues to add delays when it's politically expedient, this policy gives certainty for individuals that they won't be taxed or fined, Mr. Mr. Chairman, for not complying with a law that they can't afford. This bill will provide doctors who treat Medicare patients with certainty, incentivize and reward doctors to keep seniors healthy with better care and provide individuals relief under Obamacare. It is patient access that is the core of this issue. The bill before us uh, presents each and every member of this body a simple choice. Do we patch Medicare <clears throat> or do we fix it? Do we choose to fight for the Medicare promise that this country has made to every American or do we vote against it? My friends, I'm voting today to keep the Medicare promise to Americans. We must not let another opportunity to save Medicare for our seniors fall by the wayside. If Washington is broken, today is an opportunity to fix it. The bill before us is bipartisan, and the pay for is one President Obama has used himself many times in the past. My colleagues, did you scream hypocrisy when President Obama delayed the mandate for special interest here in D.C.? <clears throat> then why would you scream hypocrisy now? The time for political games is over. It's time for members of this body to choose. Are you on the side of seniors in your district that depend on Medicare, or are you against them? Are you on the side of younger Americans who keep telling us they are struggling under an Obamacare plan that forces them to choose between groceries and health care? Are you for saving Medicare, or will you vote to let it go bankrupt? For four and a half weeks, since February 6th, the policy has been out there for all to see. We have awaited anyone from the Senate side who wanted to talk to us about negotiating bipartisan pay-fors, radio silence. Now look, I don't know what Rule 14 is over the Senate, but it's apparently pretty important. The majority leader on the, in the other body has brought this bill up under Rule 14, but they were doing nothing before. For four weeks, this policy languished without them picking it up. Now that the House is moving, now that the House is moving a bill and will likely pass the bill today with a decent pay-for that is in fact bipartisan because 27 Democrats voted for this very pay-for last week on the floor of this House. In fact, it was unanimous if we were exempting firefighters or veterans from the individual mandate in the Affordable Care Act. This is a bipartisan pay for. It has passed the floor of this House in a bipartisan fashion. It is ready to go. We call upon our colleagues in the other body, use whatever Senate procedures you need to, but get this done because the clock is ticking.